a guide to importing automotive parts from Japan. Welcome to our channel, where we provide expert guidance on customs brokerage and import processes. In this video, we will discuss how to import automotive parts from Japan and the regulations associated with it. If you're interested in importing automotive parts from Japan, stay tuned to learn everything you need to know. Let's get started. Start by researching and identifying the specific automotive parts you want to import from Japan. Automotive parts can range from components like engines, transmissions, and brakes to accessories such as car mats, wheel covers, and lights. Determine the specific parts that you want to import, ensuring they meet your market's demand. Familiarize yourself with the customs regulations governing the importation of automotive parts from Japan. These regulations dictate the requirements for documentation, labeling, valuation, and compliance with applicable safety and environmental standards. Visit the website of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, or consult with a customs broker to stay updated on the latest regulations. Properly classifying automotive parts is essential for customs clearance. Each part has a specific harmonized system HS, code which determines the correct duty rate and any applicable regulations. Consult the U.S. International Trade Commission's database or work with a customs broker to determine the correct HS code for your automotive parts. Certain automotive parts may require specific import permits to comply with U.S. regulations. Research whether your chosen parts require any permits from government agencies such as the Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) or the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA. Obtain the necessary permits before importing the parts. Ensure that the automotive parts you import from Japan comply with safety and environmental standards set by the U.S. regulatory authorities. This includes adherence to regulations such as Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards FMVSS, emission standards, and other safety requirements. Conduct product testing obtain necessary certifications, and maintain compliance records. Proper packaging and labeling are crucial for automotive parts. Ensure that the parts are packaged securely to prevent damage during transit. Additionally, label the packages with clear and accurate shipping information, including part descriptions, country of origin, and any specific labeling requirements imposed by the CBP or relevant regulatory agencies. Accurate valuation of your imported automotive parts is necessary for customs clearance and calculation of import duties and taxes. Work closely with your supplier to ensure that the declared value of the parts is fair and accurate, conforming to international trade valuation standards and customs requirements. As part of the Importer Security Filing ISF, requirement, importers must provide certain information to the CBP at least 24 hours before the vessel departs from Japan. Ensure that you submit the ISF form accurately and within the required time frame to avoid penalties and delays. Work with a freight forwarder experienced in automotive part importation to handle the shipping and logistics. They will assist in arranging transportation, preparing the necessary documentation, and managing customs clearance. Seek a freight forwarder with a reliable network in Japan to ensure a smooth and efficient shipping process. Once your automotive parts arrive in the United States, they must go through the customs clearance process. Submit all required documents, including commercial invoices, packing lists, bills of lading, ISF, and any specific documentation related to safety or environmental compliance. Work closely with a customs broker to ensure a seamless clearance process. After customs clearance is complete, you will be responsible for paying the applicable customs duties and fees. These charges are typically based on the declared value and duty rates assigned to the specific automotive parts. Allocate funds to cover these expenses during the customs clearance process. Importing automotive parts from Japan is an ongoing process. Stay updated on any changes to customs regulations, safety standards, labeling requirements, or environmental regulations to ensure continued compliance. Maintain a strong relationship with your customs broker and suppliers to navigate any future challenges. Importing automotive parts from Japan requires careful consideration of customs regulations, proper product classification, accurate valuation, compliance with safety and environmental standards, 
and adherence to packaging, labeling, and documentation requirements. By following the regulations and import process discussed in this video and working with a reliable customs broker, you can successfully import automotive parts from Japan. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on customs brokerage and import processes. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos.